Hey, this is Cameron McCullough, aka Master Teacher of Attraction, and I wanted to make a video talking about your overweight, obese kids. I know this probably what you've been thinking, but I'm just going to bring to the light. Just like them light bulbs up there. Just like how the sun comes out. And it's time for the light. And it's time for that light to shed something that you know something ain't right with your kids. Or the little ones in your family. Your little ones or your kids are growing up. They didn't come into this world 300 pounds. But yet they're overweight. And I have a question for you. Since you don't want to get the last damn guy to weight management. You know everything. You got this, right? If you got this and you know Everything that you need to know because you brought a child into this world. Why are the results not there? Why are the results not on you? On your physical body? On your physical specimen? On your physical vessel? How come your inner spirit, your soul ain't in line with what you perceive yourself to already know. You know so much that you don't need the last damn guy to weight management. Why is that? Why is your children overweight? Why is their stomach poking out? Why are they sitting around all day? They got a whole bunch of energy. Overactive and everything. You letting all the, um, them get diagnosed with AA... HD and ADD and all these things. That's why I keep saying. If you don't know what you're doing. And I'll be trying to put you, put you on game. Mr. Smarty Pants. or You know what I'm saying? You know so much. But yet you have no results of this information. And yet I give you proof and proof. Proof. Every video for the last what? Seven years now? And you can see that I still believe in you. Even though you ain't taking action on it. We're going to be approaching on another year. Now, I don't know if you've been a bad boy or girl. <laughs> and you did a little bit too much over the holidays. Um, We just got through Thanksgiving. Did you gain a whole bunch of weight? Is your heart palpitating? Your joints hurt from last night? Thanksgiving dinner? Having them neck bones? Sweet potato pie? Pumpkin pie? Pecan pie? Turkey? How you feel? Do you feel like a million bucks? Or did you feel like shit when you woke up this morning? Like, for real, be honest. Put it down in the comment section. Talk to me. Because apparently you got it all figure, figured out. Why your children are running around here overweight. 300 pounds. Only, only six years old. What's wrong? What's up with that? Just because you overweight? And unhealthy, and you think you got it all figured out, oh, I can just go ahead and Google some free information. But yet you have all this information at your fingertips, and you still unhealthy and you overweight. But yet you don't want to keep that to yourself. You want to push that on your children, giving them Pop-Tarts, giving them all these processed foods that you know in your right mind that they shouldn't be having. And you see how it's changing them. 
You don't think that's going to lower their self-esteem? When they look in the mirror, when they hear them mean-ass children at school? Because you want to put them in public school because you was put in public school. Hurt people hurt people, right? So you put them in public school. You put them in public school overweight. It's like, what's wrong with you? Like, that's a genuine question. You don't want to get the last damn guy to weight management. Okay, cool. How are you going to get the results then? Because clearly it's not working. Look at how big they are. Look at them. Look at your children. You don't think when they get to high school, the children are going to talk about them? And then they come home, and then they say they want to, uh, God forbid, like hurt themselves, take themselves out this world. Or start hiding weapons to take to um, school to defend themselves. I speak on that because I was almost at that point. I used to struggle with my way of life. I used to be one of them big kids. And I didn't know how to control it. My skin all messed up. That's why I had that last damn guy. I was that kid that had all the health issues and allergies and all that. And now I don't have it no more. And I'm living proof of it. And a lot of y'all still struggling with it. But y'all don't want to fix it on yourself. And act like you know what to do by being a vegan. And then you see all these people doing veganism. And then saying they ex-vegan. And don't want to do it no more because they almost died. Me included. So it got to come to a point. And not just a point where it becomes January like it's about to be. And you like, Ugh, I want to go ahead and lose some weight. Stop focusing on losing weight and focus on your health. Once you focus on your health, you're going to automatically start getting to the weight that your body creates as a set point. God ain't stupid. But God ain't turning... Your children, big bone. That ain't a big bone issue. That's a you issue as a parent. You absent in their life, but yet you still there. You not telling them nothing. You giving them trash. Stop giving them trash and give them the knowledge in the game. Put them up on it. Children aren't dumb. You dumb. You done for not giving them the game. All they can do is just learn from you. And if they're learning trash or you don't know shit as a parent. When I'm trying to help you get the game so you can teach your children. from So they not 300 pounds and can barely run back and forth throughout the, uh, the house. They run up the stairs and they tired. They about to have a conniption just from that. And you think that's their fault? Oh, yeah, Jim, you need to get off the game. No, uh, Mom. You need to get the last damn guy to weight management. Stop blaming everybody else. Dad. Whatever. Whatever parent. Both of y'all need to get together if it's a two-parent household. And start coming up with solutions to get that child together. If you don't want to get the last young guy to weight management, start looking for solutions either way. And stop having your child overweight and acting like that it ain't that. Acting like it's an elephant in the room. The elephant is in the room and he laying his fat ass on the couch saying what up though. And you acting like he ain't saying what up though. Like, for real. Come on. Get off it. Like, this for real, man. This for real. Y'all running around with these big-ass children. You running around with these big-ass children. And they look into y'all with them cute little eyes. And 
they looking to you for guidance and you ain't got it. But you think you bad. You think you bad because you don't want to get the last damn guy to weight management. You want to listen to these fat ass doctors that don't got an ounce of knowledge when it comes to actually losing weight in a nutritional way. They throw pills at you. And that's most general practitioners. Y'all don't want to talk to specialists because they cost too much money. That's who y'all need to be getting into. Alternative medicine doctors and things like that. Eastern medicine. If y'all want to go for doctors. But y'all always trying to penny pinch. And what y'all do today? Black Friday. Get a 75 inch t- television when you already got one from last year. <laughs> 